We're so glad you listeners can join join us. We have some very, very exciting guests this evening. It's going to be an amazing show. Bill, turn that camera on, buddy. I'm coming over to Louisville to get you. We're gonna have a we're gonna have a very exciting show this evening. And um, we have uh, Miss Dr. Davina Smith, and we have the guru entrepreneur, Miss Julia Rogers. Her name changed on me. How are you, Julia? Oh. I haven't seen you in a while. Good to see you. Good to see you, Davina. Nice to see you. Great. <laughs> Good to see you. And I, and I notice here, Davina, you, you're kind of sitting below. Can you, I see some green and a B and a, like a <laughs> C there. Can you like sit up a little bit? Can oh you my see goodness. that? BSC? What is, oh, oh my goodness. That, what does that stand for? Black Shopping Channel. Wow, that's nice, man. I got, where can I get one of those? You can go to the blackshoppingchannel.com and get you one. <laughs> it's exciting. <laughs> you know, we, we, uh, we've had quite, we've had men on the show for the past four or five weeks. And some of the uh, callers are saying, man, you know, we haven't seen any females on the show lately, Mr. Gary. So I said, so here you go. You know, we don't want to offend a black woman here. So it's, it's really a pleasure to have you julie and uh and the divina and how have you how have you been julie oh been great been just wonderful um working on some uh, getting um uh, uh products and things like that ready for uh for m my company's debut on the black shopping channel coming to a channel soon near you <laughs> <laughs> so absolutely yeah no, I, absolutely. I, and wonderful project I'm working on now um uh, I'm a holistic skin specialist and and uh, I make mineral makeup for women of color and and now I'm on this whole tangent of you can't say too much just say the mineral makeup don't oh, say yeah. too but much. I'm working on and some wonderful things for uh, anti-aging for women of color over 50 and awesome, uh, awesome. Yeah. So having a good time and just in the lab just mixing and stirring and making <laughs> stuff and having a good time yes you know that's what that's what living is all about having a good time yeah. making money helping people selling products that makes a difference in their lives that's what the american dream is all about and this is dr davina smith what have you been up to lately and i've heard through the grapevine that you have a product or products as well. Yes, actually, um, I have a book that's already on the Black Shopping channel, and I'm getting ready to put some more products there as well. I am super excited about the launch in August, and I'm I'm just ready to go. And now I'm anxious to see your makeup line that's going to be on there. Oh, we're about to oh. have fun. We're about to have fun. Yes, indeed. Was, we're going to get down and rock, Julie. Oh, yeah, 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 because um, you no one has ever seen anything like this. Um, I, uh, I'm celebrating 40 years in the beauty industry. And um, so Congrats, that's, congratulations. Yeah, yeah, this is my 40th Congrats. year. And, and wow. I really uh, want to, you know, it's time to level up. And uh, I'm excited about teaching. So I have um, written a color theory that's specific to people of color. Cause this whole red and yellow undertone thing, it, 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 that ain't black. <laughs> and so uh, I've actually, um, and so the, the, the makeup that I've designed is not based on, on undertone. It's based on real skin tone. And um, I, I made everything on my face that you're looking at right now. And I have no awesome, awesome. This is all powder. There's no liquid on my face. Awesome. So yeah, awesome. so I'm just doing a whole different turn on you know 40 years and i average two white clients a year so my life has been built on the faces of black women it has been a blessing to live the way that i have lived uh working with black women women of color and um and and i just enjoyed the life that i've lived serving this this supposed niche market which spans 75 percent of the earth so how it's a niche i don't know but I'm glad to mm -hmm. have been a part of it for all this time. Awesome, I just awesome. have to say, your Mr. lipstick, I don't know what, what color that is, but can't it's tell. fabulous. I love it. Yeah. Coming soon. Awesome. Yeah. <laughs> Coming soon. And, you know, we, I was talking to Dr. Smith earlier, and, and I asked her, you know, by the way, thank you for joining us, you know, on such a short notice. And I know that 
She's into graphics design and very creative too, as it relates to selling products. And I know she's just very talented when it comes to like perfumes and shoes and what have you. So she's going to give us a, a, a big surprise coming on Black Shopping Channel here, August 1st too, having her own show and catering to, you know, uh, that 110 million plus audience. You know, you know, as a man and Bill, I just want to say here, you know, what do you think about these two women coming on BSC and and uh, doing their thing? This is really exciting to me um, because one of the things that, that I think is the opportunity to sell to that niche market. Um, you know, one of the things that I've always heard in business is, um, you know, if, if you, you can get into that niche and you can grow rich in that niche, right? Because those people are gonna be with you and it's very important, um, you know, to, to provide those products and services to a group of people that, uh, you know, that are gonna buy your products or services and use them. So that's really exciting. And I really wanna say to Dr. Smith, um, you know, so exciting to meet you because every day you provide me with some inspiration. I, you know, I wake up in the morning and, and it's like, get out of bed and let's, let's go to war. But, you know, when I go to <laughs> clevelandgary.com, you know, what, what I see is some inspiration. It gives me a minute to do some introspection and think about, you know, the important things in life besides just getting right into business. So I greatly appreciate the, the interaction on that clevelandgary.com. Thank you. I appreciate that. He's been very, yeah, very inspirational, um, you know, with with your books and uh, and I and I'm being a little nosy here, Doctor Smith. Uh, you said there's some other <clears throat> products you have. Do, should we wait, or do you want to tell us about them a little bit, or or what? I'm just being so nosy right now. I know, I can't help myself. No, it's fine. Um, no, I, I think I'll wait for now. Um, just the book okay. is there, but definitely more to come. Absolutely. You know, what do you think about, you know, the platform, you know, uh, as it relates to, to not only, you know, women, but, you know, minorities as a whole, but, you know, since we have you two, you know, uh, uh, Black women here, African-American women who uh, just, you've set, you set examples, you know, for young women to, you know, you're young, but other women, should I say, that, that have any, that, I, I got it. I yeah, clean that up, clean that up. I, I, I clean that up. I'm okay <laughs> with it. I look good, so I'm all right. But no. <laughs> I cleaned it up. I cleaned no matter it. how old you are, as long as you look good. <laughs> That's right. Hey, you don't have to tell. I, I'm not saying anything. <laughs> but Dr. Smith, starting with you, uh, we've worked so hard endless hours, a lot of years, and, uh, you know, you have so many naysayers, and uh, it's easy to throw in the towel, and, you know, with funding, and we've been on the Dish Network thing, but to be able to come back and and relaunch and, and bring on the kind of entertainment to a shopping channel that you've never seen before, so we're relentless people, you know, we don't give up, and we have a way of, of, of just having a good time. We'll take anything, and, and, and turn it into the fun and laughter. That's what we're all about. And uh, you were talking to me earlier, you know, a little bit earlier about BSC and, and what it brings. How important is BSC to the American market, domestic in all 52 states and global? I mean, it is, it's critical. And I mean, I think this is, you know, we, we're trailblazers. We are trailblazers. This is something that is, it's going to be record breaking. I mean, it's a platform for not only, you know, business owners and vendors, but for all, you know, African American people to come in to bring money back into our community. You know, I mean, there's hundreds of thousands, trillions of dollars being spent, you know, African Americans, we, we are one of the biggest consumers of most products, but yet we take, you know, we go and buy our hair products from the Asians and we, you know, we go buy our cars from the Germans, you know, we need to start bringing that money back into our community so that we can change lives together. So this is monumental. I mean, this is, this is, I mean, it's, it's really going to be, it's going to change the world. It's really going to change the world. It's going to change lives. And like I said, not just the people that have products to sell, but it's also going to show other people that maybe other people out there have a business or have 
products, but they don't have a platform. They don't have, you know, a place to get it seen. And now this is going to give them a platform and opportunity to actually live their dreams and to make income and, and pass it to their generation and generation and generation. And we can literally change the world with just this one platform. So I think it's, it's very important. Thank you. you. Know, Julie. I will say too, um, you know, I have, uh, I actually went and, and, and auditioned to put my product on another channel that had a viewership where 35% of the viewers were African-American women specifically. And yet they offered not a single um, cosmetic line targeted to this, this group. One third of their audience, and you didn't think that they would want cosmetics and skincare and things that spoke to them, that looked like them. And I challenged them in the, um, in the audition saying, you have the opportunity to be the hero of the African-American woman because the industry is not paying attention to her in, at a level that they should, given the amount, like Doc was saying, of how much money we spend. We buy 80% of the hair that's sold. We buy 80, African-American women buy 80% of all the hair that is sold in the world. And yet we control less than 5% of the weave hair industry. We buy one in every five beauty products sold in, in this country is purchased specifically by an African-American woman. Please explain to me why 20% of, of an industry does not get their needs addressed. And so I'm excited because I would certainly rather that the Black Shopping Channel be the hero uh, presenting to women of color a product for women of color by a woman of color. And so it was a blessing that I was turned down. Um, and I am grateful for it because herein is the opportunity to, to really manifest for us, by us in a way that I think is exciting. I think that it is exciting. I think it's something uh, whose time has come. Um, we're saying that by 2030 and where we're kind of here now, but um, uh, where this country will no longer be majority Caucasian. And that means that the face of the consumer is changing. And I'm just thrilled that the Black Shopping Channel has arrived at the time that it has. You know, I go far back, we, we go back, yeah. what, 17 years. years, something yeah. like yeah. that. I mean, yeah. and to know now that we are at a time where right when we're at the very top of that wave, of the, the face of America changing, that we're right there at the top, ready to address Absolutely. that new face and that 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 new majority consumer. Right, Bill. Interesting point you just made. You know, interesting point. Yeah, I think those are super interesting points, um, and and they're super interesting data points uh, because when you start thinking about the amount of money. Um, that is being spent on these products and you start thinking about being able to put these commercial applications in place where you know that money can circulate in the community and not only circulate in the community but as you know these products are developed uh, you know there's going to be a need for distribution there's going to be a need for manufacturing and that's going to potentially grow uh, you know that that african-american and people of color um, you know those businesses it's going to be able to uh, to increase the number of people who are able to participate in this commercial society. Um, you know, if, if you live in a commercial society and you're on the consumer side, you're losing by default, right? And, and it's about being able to participate uh, as an owner and a loner in, you know, in, in this economy. And, you know, with the Black Shopping Channel, it is providing that platform where this can all begin, where those, you know, almost like the point of sales where these things happen. But as that point of sales continues to grow, what's going to happen is there are going to be other ancillary businesses that develop to support that point of sales. So this is super exciting to me and, uh, you know, really exciting to hear about, you know, um, Black women getting the opportunity to sell to, uh, you know, to other Black women because they purchase so much of this right, product. Right. And Dr. Smith, you said earlier, you know, with uh, the distribution of wealth, when you have the African American consumer spending $1.6 trillion, that's a staggering number annually. And to only 
find or discover that the dollar only stays in the African-American community four hours once we get it. So we're working nine to five and uh, we're getting the money from these corporations, but technically giving it right back. <laughs> what do you have? How do you, how do you wrap your mind around that? Yeah, I mean, I think that, you know, this platform, you know, it, it really is history in the making because I was reading an article earlier where it said that, you know, white families have eight times the wealth of black families. And it's because minorities have less access to certain resources. But when you talk about, I read um, an article from McKinsey and they said, you know, there's a $300 billion opportunity for serving black American uh, consumers. You know, so we're tapping into all of that. And I think that, you know, there is, the platform itself is also an education tool. Not necessarily that you're, you're speaking and educating in a certain way, but it's living the example. And so when other people come and they see that you're, you're a living example of entrepreneurship, you're an example of, okay, you have, now you can give, you know, it's, there's a teaching element there because exposure is what causes people to grow. Some people don't know it's possible because they've never seen it. But when they come and they see someone who looks like them and they're doing something that they didn't know was possible, now you're also changing people's mindsets and you're making a difference in other ways that, I mean, money can't even, it, it's, you know, it's, it's priceless, right? Unbelievable, so. absolutely, absolutely. And you know, Dr. Smith, I say, when you really believe in something, you really, really believe it and you put forth the effort <clears throat> and it's actionized, people see it. And when it comes to consumers, investors, or whatever have you, no matter what the no matter what dream you have, no matter what anyone says, even if it seems ridiculous or impossible because of the color of your skin or what have you, it's possible. But the key here is when you are really impacting somebody's life, st statistically, uh, that dollar is leaving this community uh, within four hours. So if that's the case. How can you build generational wealth? You have to look at the numbers. Right. And Bill and I talk about this all the time. It's not rocket science. One person gets a head crab in a bucket. You know what I mean? No man's an island. And when we learn how to redistribute this wealth, and this is why I've been so driven, you know, to make sure the Black Shopping Channel is in the face of every single American, Comcast, Direct TV, Dish Network, Xfinity, Spectrum. Uh, 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 Charter, ATU versus Verizon. We've been very blessed because I fought so hard for so many years and uh, I could have gotten four or five law degrees and people have said he'll never make it. He won't make it. He's been at it for a long time. And Julie, you've been with me for 17 years and you've been through some tough times and some tough wars. But no matter what anyone says, I thank God, we're, we're fighting to make sure you, our people, no offense to anyone, we welcome all people. If you're poor, blue, green, white, purple, the door is open. But redistributing that wealth is key. And you, it's going to impact our children and, and our grandchildren and their children. When you talk about financial wealth, think about it. There, it's virtually impossible to build generational wealth if the dollar is leaving our community within four hours. And in the Asian community, the Caucasian community, it's staying there for 10 days up to a month. Four hours means poverty. It doesn't matter who you are, how much your education you have. When you understand how to redistribute wealth, you will stop being a crab in the bucket. Quit thinking about this guy, this individual, this woman, because she's a black woman, he's an African-American -Amer African male, Quit thinking about that and, and benefit. Think about your kids and your grandkids. Other races don't think like we do. So it all starts with how you think. And Dr. Uh, Smith, you, you've said a lot of, you've mentioned a lot in your book about the mindset and how you think. So how do we reprogram ourselves to, to understand the positive attributes we have to display to make a change in the system? We're not waiting on the system to, to, to give us anything. So what are some of the, some of the, the things that you, you could 
say to the, the listeners as, as it relates to their thought process and how to think positive and think in that direction to put, put us on a better path? Well, I mean, I think, again, that this platform is more than just a platform for shopping. It's more than just a platform for vendors and business owners. This is a platform that can be used to educate people. This is something that when you are surrounded with a community of people who have a positive mindset, who have, you know, the mindset of I'm going to have more, I am worthy of more, you know, all of that is going to change people's mindsets because your mind is everything you consume. So if you're consuming, you know, negativity or you're consuming people that, you know, think nothing is possible, then that's how you're going to think. But once you surround yourself, I, I see this as being a community of professional people. And as we become a community and a family together, people's mindsets are going to change. They're going to see that, you know, one person helping another person, helping another person, we all benefit rather than you know, having the mentality that only one person can make it and there's not enough for everybody. There's enough for everybody. And so when you surround yourself with people who are thinking this way, you're gonna change and their mindset is gonna change. So we gotta go to a break, you watch. We gotta oh, go to sorry. a break, Julie, hold that, hold that thought. We'll be right back. You're listening to Beyond Sports. This is the Cleveland Gary Show on 104.5 WFLM, The Flame. Sure, people have told you to make sure you have something to fall back on. Make sure you got something to fall back on, honey. But I never understood that concept, having something to fall back on. If I'm going to fall, I don't want to fall back on anything. I want to fall forward. I figure at least this way I'll see what I'm going to hit. You've decided that you're not going to allow your circumstances to define you. You've decided that you're not going to allow the events, the things, the people, life, determine who you become. Black Wall Street in Tulsa, Oklahoma was a true event that took place. A group of African Americans got together and created an economic system that created wealth amongst each other by circulating their dollars within their own community. They were so financially successful until they were bombed, beaten, many killed, resulting in destroying what was once known as Black Wall Street. The Black Shopping Channel is back on the street again to stay. Support the Black Shopping Channel vendors in this new fintech company that is connecting vendors to shoppers, resulting in circulating wealth back into the urban community. And hip hop, rap, and R&B music artists are reaching the world with their music at blackshoppingchannel.com. Have you had a problem getting approved for a mortgage, car, or personal loan? You want a home, you want a car, but your Equifax, Experian, TransUnion credit reports are not satisfactory to lenders, so you're denied credit approval. If you or anyone you know have been denied credit approval in these areas, the answer is eCred, the new credit bureau that can validate your credit worthiness to get you approved through eCred's lending division, even if you've had a bankruptcy, foreclosure, or collections. For more information, go to www.ecred.com. Create your own ecred credit report by adding your light bill, water bill, mobile phone, auto insurance, and even rental payments. All validate your credit worthiness at ecred. Go to www.ecred.com and sign up today. It's free. Get the keys to your new home or your new car. The Black Shopping Channel is America's first 24-hour minority TV shopping channel that aired on Dish Network in 14 million homes. Visit our website at www.blackshoppingchannel.com. If you're a small business owner and would like to sell your products on the Black Shopping Channel, go to www.blackshoppingchannel.com and sign up as a member. It's free. Upload your products schedule live stream events music artists sell your music and control your career it's time to get in the game and start supporting our small business owners and music artists go to black shopping channel and shop today black wall street is back at www.blackshoppingchannel.com the black shopping channel giving back moving forward 
Wake up to the Rick's Mountain Morning Show on 104.5 The Plane. This is a paid advertisement. It does not represent the views of WFLM ownership, management, or staff. This is the Cleveland Gary Show on 104.5 WFLM The Flame. Hi, I'm Cleveland Gary. Welcome back to Beyond Sports. We have Julia Rogers. We have Dr. Davina Smith. And we have my main man, Mr. Bill Houston. In fact, he's out of Louisville, Kentucky, where they have the Kentucky Derby. I just can't wrap my mind around a brother down there in Louisville around the Kentucky Derby. And ain't number white folks at the, what, what's up with that? <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding, man. We're all brothers and sisters in Christ, man. I just, I mean, I'm, you know, I'm a jokester sometimes. But, yeah, the Kentucky Derby. Did you women know the, the Kentucky Derby is about five minutes from where Bill lives? I just want to go there and Do put you know a the, cute fascinator on and, and ha- wear the hat and the polka dot dress and, <laughs> you know. <laughs> so, so you know a little bit about something. derby, right? You know about the derby hats. I, yes, exactly. Well, you know, you know, I'm always looking at what the ladies are doing. So, <laughs> You know what? That's one thing about you, you sisters. You're always thinking about fashion, how you look. I commend you on it. Hey, look, you, you, teach, you teach me as a brother. You know, we, we can't have step. You know, you're always thinking about something. Yeah, your, your makeup, what hat you're going to wear. You know, it, it's, it's pretty interesting. Very, very interesting, interesting um, people. Well, you know, Cleveland, <laughs> one of the things that, uh, you know, and I'm just, just piggybacking on what Doc was saying just before the break about the example that as a people we set when we show of the world uh, and we show America, you know, how the magic that occurs when we work together and when right. we when we lift each other up there there is a magic right. but part of that i believe has to do and what is very very obvious is we are the actual trendsetters we set the right. trends for what what people wear what people do the energy and the soul that they bring to whatever it is that they're bringing to uh, i mean you got you know, the word cultural appropriation is such a huge term right now, but it, you know, they say, what is it? The uh, plagiarism is the, is the greatest form of compliment uh, because we have people who literally are pretending to be us, uh, <laughs> NAACP. Okay. And um, okay. um, I mean, to, to think that there is a, a, you know, that there are people who will go that far um, while doing all of these kinds of things that seem to demean us, the, the undercurrent is the way that they apprehend and appropriate everything that we do. And so if that is the case, then I'm with Doc. Then let's give you something really good to copy. How about copying Absolutely. unity? How about copying um, uh, economic empowerment and support? How about copying... You know, we so, think that, yeah, we, we think that we're, you know, we, yes, we do need to copy other cultures, but at the same time, those cultures eyes are on us and it is up to us now with the level of education that we have, with the level of opportunity right, right. that we have and the strides we have actually made and taking mm-hmm. advantage of those. This is the moment where we truly set the example of what happens right. when oppor- we've met the opportunity and what right. we do with it. Absolutely. You know, we won't stop because we like, we, see, we, we like to have a lot of fun. If you go back in recent times with BET, you know, you never, Dr. Smith and uh, Mrs. Rogers, you never saw the kind of you know, music and people dancing and, you know, it's just, it, it takes you back to that African, African culture where it all began. And it was just an unstoppable network, BET, before, you know, you know, eventually it sold for $3 billion to Viacom. But we needed that, you know, it's mm-hmm. a feel good thing. Aphrodisiac, we needed to, to embrace our own culture. You know, we're, you, you're forced for so many years and centuries to listen to music. If you listen to it, to it enough, you'll like it, but you won't love it. I mean, what's in you is inside of you. You can take the country boy out of the country into the city, but he's still a country boy, right? All right, so I went I went from Indian Town, Florida, all the way to Los Angeles, right? But the Indian Town was still in me. 
So where we originated from is where we originated from. That's who God made us. That's who we are. That's the creation. And with, with BSC, Dr. Smith, we need something, Bill, to give us back, you know, literally what was taken. To no offense, to no, to no one, we, we sell products. You know what? I'm going to shut up and let you women take over because let me tell you something. One <laughs> thing about you women, I'm going to say this here. Y'all will get on, I'm going to say y'all. I'm not going to say you all. I'm going to say y'all will get on this Black Shopping Channel Network. Y'all will sell products in such a way people will feel good. They'll be, you probably, you know, break dance. You probably turn your music on. It's just the way you present things. It's the way, it's that so, so fulfilling. And it's not, you know, we're not leaving out other races because <laughs> they tend to embrace, you know, what we do. We're not a hateful race of people. We love everybody, white, blue, green, purple, orange people, but we want to be who we are. And if you like who we are, come on and join us. We're not even leaving you out of the picture. This is all about the human family, but just let us be who God has made us to be, right? I think, you know, it's, so, it's easy to be that way and to have that. Am I making sense energy. here? Am I making a little You're sense? You're making absolute sense. And, right, and the right, reason okay. that there's so much color involved is because there's so much soul involved. I think one of the things that I'm most excited about, about being part of the channel is to finally have the opportunity to bring to our community, not a, and you two black people product. Um, you wanna, let's talk about skin color for a second. Um, People of color have 38 pigmentation possibility of skin tone, where that's not even counting people of mixed heritage, but just in general, people of color, and that's not just black, that's Asian, Caribbean, Native American, Aboriginal, Australians. I mean, the range of people of color over 75% of the planet, 38 pigmentation possibilities, whereas Caucasians only have eight. And this is why when you walk into a department store and you go to buy makeup, you'll see eight shades of, of light colors. And then you see tan, medium, deep, and dark at the end. How is four colors ever going to address the needs of 38 different skin tone possibilities? And Jeez, so girl, the it, opportunity to be able, <laughs> and thank, thank God for people like Rihanna who proved that, again, I, I was in a boot camp with a person from another shopping channel who told me you could never offer more than eight SKUs, you won't sell anything. In other words, right. eight different colors, that's all you could sell. And Rihanna showed up on the scene with Fenty with 40 different colors and sold out in a week, $72 million. That by itself speaks to the desire and the demand for the woman of color to have her needs addressed. For me to live a life where I've had clients that I made a color for them and they broke down in tears because somebody finally understood. So to have well, the opportunity on a large scale to be able to say, you know, and on all levels, all kinds of products to say, we get you, we see you, we understand you. And with a joyous heart, I, we come to give it to you the way that you want it. I think right. And, and, you know, and, and you know, Julie, well said, because it's like, if you can give somebody what they want, make them feel good, people, you know, want to feel appreciated. You know, they want to feel, they want to let their hair down pretty much. And uh, this, this gives the American, as, as Dr. Smith said, this is more than just about a shopping channel. Absolutely. It's about a change in, 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 in a culture's life, being able to disseminate information, being able to present products that, uh, can make a difference in your skin, you know, tones and, and, and having, you know, hair products that's, that's totally geared towards our type of hair. But also, most importantly, having the manufacturers of that product right. to be owned by the people of color. Yes. And this is another way to re redistribute uh, generational wealth. And, and, you know, and I want women of color like Dr. Smith, you and Mrs. Rogers, to be creative and innovative. And we even talked about Bill and I uh, having a something, you know, like the soul train, but having like a BS soul, soul dance where people, and this is how crazy we are. See, see, we're so crazy until it makes it laughable. 
and, and, and so that's a feel good thing. So I love that. I got the I love fro. Peter's, I got the fro. Yeah, you got the fro. But <laughs> can you imagine? I see. I see and you know what? Not only do you have the fro, girl. We can, you see the way she's down moving the soul her head. See the way she's moving her head. She's <laughs> dancing already. Now, can, so that's hey, that's a that's a good sign right there. The BSC soul dance it has to happen where you're you're dancing with clothes on that were made by the designers, fashion designers, right? Absolutely, yeah. And you come in that Soul Train line and you got your jewelry, your makeup on, and you you got Ray Ray or Shiana comes up and, you know, Billy Bob Joe, well, I didn't say Billy Bob, <laughs> let me go back. We're talking about Rayana, she, <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just kidding you, homie. I'm kidding you, homie. But the key is, who this makeup is made by? In the screen, there's, there's, a, there's a call to action, but this is what, Dr. Smith, we want to do, and this is why it's nice to have two women of color who are entrepreneur gurus who understand the culture of their community. And uh, it's so wonderful to listen to your, your ideas and, uh, and what you think about, you know, uh, what should be presented. And so it's, it's really nice. It's a, it's a change of pace. And, uh, and one thing we never want to do, what I, what I love about our culture, we don't put each other down. You know, you respect everybody. You respect women, you respect men. And this is a team effort. It's not about, you know, a woman of power or a man of power. You know, I'm not, I don't believe in that stuff. It's all about just respecting people and really supporting them and giving each other everything we need. That's just unselfish. When you're unselfish, when you're unselfish and giving everything you got, it's impossible to fail. Think about it. When you're unselfish, and you give that team everything you got, it's impossible to fail. Everybody will experience an abundance of success. Try it. And I, and I, and I, thank, you, I thank you women for coming on. And uh, it's just so amazing to hear your opinions. We constantly talk, Bill and I, about you know, BSC. And I say, let's get some women on and, and get their opinion. So how important, Bill, will you say, uh, how do you think BSC can impact the lives of, 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 of men and women? We've, we've talked about, what, 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 how do you think it can impact the lives of, of uh, the, the African-American population? I can't hear you, Bill. Sorry about that, I was on mute. Um, uh, I, I would definitely like to piggyback off of what Dr. Smith was saying about how, you know, being able to come to the Black Shopping Channel and not only do commerce, but also be able to, to really engage with other people, start businesses, but, but be able to enjoy yourself, be able to bring something of joy and of our culture. Um, I, I was thinking about what Ms. Rogers said and um, you know, about how we are trendsetters. And uh, you know, I was watching something on television and this old Navy commercial came on. And, uh, you know, it was like the people were dancing around with these colors and the dances that they were doing. And, you know, I thought, wow, 30 years ago, these were unacceptable dances. And now, you know, these are mainstream dances for, you know, for large corporations. And, um, you know, really being able to bring out, you know, the music, the fun, the joy, the entertainment, and, and making it a real community effort. And within that community effort, we're doing commerce with one another. And that starts those dollars circulating. That allows that allows other opportunities for other businesses. Uh, as Dr. Smith said, when I see that I can design something, be able to design that, have a place to sell and distribute that, then then that means that hey, maybe I can do that if I see someone else doing it. And and, and I think that, that the Black Shopping Channel can be this hub for not only Black business and black businesses, but also for the culture to come together and understand that not only can we design, not only can we dance, but we can do commerce with one another as well. So oh, I'm really excited about oh, this. Wow. Awesome, Dr. Smith, did you hear that? That's pretty awesome. Mm -hmm. Not only can we dance and sing and shout and do all that stuff and it feel, feels good, but we can, we can combine that with commerce via e-commerce. And uh, that's, that's really having your ice cream and your cake, you know, at the same time. And that's what we've been fighting for forever, you know, having your ice cream and cake. And there's nothing wrong with being spoiled brats. You know, we need to be spoiled brats. And I know you women like, I know you like that kind of talk, you know, spoiled brats, being able to have it all, you know, that, and that, that's awesome because 
economic empowerment is, is essential. It truly is because we were talking today about ECRIT. When, you are, when, when your financial health is bad, it's a domino effect on every other situation in your life. Dr. Smith. Yep, I would totally agree with that. Absolutely. Yeah. Mrs. Rogers. I would also say, you know, yeah, particularly as one, you know, when I started, um, well, I, I could say, you know, life happens, life happens. And, and I can say that, Absolutely. you know, 20 years ago, I, I, I lost everything and uh, lost everything. I lost a child, lost my home, lost oh. my business. I lost everything. This is just before I met you. And, um, and when, when I met you at the time that I met you with the Black Shopping Channel, I was in recovery from losing everything. And I prayed and I asked, may I please create something that a lot of people will want and need. And that's how Color and Soul came to be. And, and in that process, I had no money to start a business. And do I need to tell you what happens to your credit when your husband at the time loses his job? You have three children and one on the way and no health insurance and, and that whole thing. And now some things happen got a chance to start over, but certainly not start over with any money in the bank. But I, I had this business in my heart. And when I came to Florida and met you at the Black Shopping Channel, I saw that as the opportunity to place my product in a platform, in a place that you weren't asking me for any money up front. You weren't doing that. You said, come with what you have. And we will work our thing out through the sales. But it was that opportunity because I didn't have any, mo any money to invest. I didn't have credit. And so to see the movement now with Ecrit that someone like me who, you know, w had lost everything, but now in a recovered place, was paying my, my rent on time, was paying my, my utility bills, was paying my phone bill and things like that. I just didn't have credit cards. And still don't, I, I, you know, I don't, I like, I live a cash life. And I don't think that that makes me an irresponsible or a bad person. I think that makes me a more responsible person because I try to live within my means, but the credit system doesn't look at you that way. And they don't care about those things. So to know that there is a platform out there now that allows, you know, someone I've never worked a nine to five in my life. And, and yet, you know, I'm still here. I'm still here. So when you're given that opportunity to be able to show your value in ways that are outside of the mainstream, I think it's a wonderful thing. You know, Julie, I, you know, when I met you, you were uh, upbeat, very, very uh, excited about the opportunity. And uh, just as I reflect back and uh, you say, look, you know, this is what I do. And I saw your products and uh, just how you presented yourself. I said, don't worry about it, we'll work it out. And when I think about just the unwavering tenacity you have exuded you know, throughout the years, I mean, it's truly an, an inspiring story. And uh, as you have your own show on the Black Shopping Channel, I think the American population um, you know, will be excited you know, just to tune in to your show and your products, because it, it's more than just selling your products. It's about selling the story and, and almost somewhat, in a sense, taking commerce. See, Webster's Dictionary is not big enough to explain what we've been through as a people. It's not big enough. And to be able to sell your products, to sell your vision, but to sell your heart, to people that you can touch and make a difference in their lives. It just goes beyond measure. And so we're excited about that. And, you know, as it relates to ECRIT, you know, our goal is to put the millions of people that does not have a home into a home and to put the millions of people who deserve to get refinancing, to put them in a house, to put people who want to build their own home to create the opportunity. And we don't care what anyone says. You just gotta tote us out on a stretcher. 
we will not stop until we are in a position to take those people, the homeless, who are somebody, they are somebody. And we tend to sometimes in life, we get a little bit of money and we turn our face to the left, <clears throat> Mr. Houston, we turn it to the right and we start using the word God, you know, how good God has been to me. You know, he's been so wonderful in my life, but yet and still, we have no inner motivation or desire to reach back and help those, the least of these. And this is what living is all about. And uh, it, it's just nice to develop a credit system. You know, it's okay to build a platform to build wealth. It's okay, it's not a crime. You buy from people every day. We're so hypnotized. We've become so hypnotized. It's, it's just like a robot who's sleepwalking. You know, you just go to the store and automatically go buy Walmart, go to the beauty agent stores and go buy your products. You don't even have a clue anymore. You don't even have a clue. You have, it's like having no identity, a system controlling. It's like sleepwalking, a robot. And so this is not about, in a sense, race of color. It's about creating a more equilibrium platform and there's nothing wrong. We want to build wealth within our community. What's wrong with having a more equilibrium platform? Why should you be at 10 and we're at two? It doesn't make sense. Why does someone have to suck up to somebody? And you know, yes, and yes, you're at 10, but we're at two. That's God did not create life. You know, that's not abundant living. We all deserve a fair and equal chance. So Julie, I appreciate that. That was kind of heartfelt. I'm sorry I kind of got off track here, but your story is so inspiring. And Mr. Houston, it's just uh, it's just one of those things where we have to continue to to drive forward to to make change. You're absolutely correct. And, you know, when you talk about that financial health and that fiscal health, how that spills over into the rest of our lives. If if I'm in a situation where, you know, I'm living from financial scarcity I couldn't possibly be making good decisions. I can't be making good decisions about what to do next, what to eat, you know, and sometimes just, you know, where, where I'm going to sleep may be completely out of my control because of the financial situation I'm in. So when we think about what ECRID can do to bring credit to people who, who don't have credit or who haven't had credit or who have made a mistake or maybe even have some erroneous information on their credit report is really powerful because it gets you out of not just that financial situation, but a life situation where you can make better choices because you're not in that, you know, that position of scarcity and you don't know what's coming next and what's going to do, what's going to happen next. And you're just living second to second to second. And, you know, ECRIT can provide people with some of the financial stability that they need to start building their lives and to start living a life of abundance. Well, thank you. And you're right, Mr. Houston, Mr. Houston. So right about that is putting them in a position so to, to relax, you know, let their hair down. Because, you know, having financial difficulties for a long, long, long period of time, what they say, no breakthroughs, man, that affects health big time, high blood pressure, diabetes, low self-esteem. And so no matter what, you're going to always have as naysayers, no matter what, you're going to have naysayers, you're going to have negative people. But my team here, our team here at ECRIT, and it's comprised of whites, blacks, blue, green people. We, you know, ECRIT is a Martian company. OK, we are full of Martians, but our objective here at ECRIT and we will not stop as a in next week. I'm going to have some exciting news for you that's all, already consummated. It's already done. It's in the hopper and I'm going to present it to you. Uh, we just have to regroup here this week and uh, we're going to we're going to present that information to you. And the American population will have an opportunity to do things like they've never done it before. And I'm gonna tell you this, as far as your, your debt to income ratio and putting you in a position to have a perfect ECRIT credit report and, and really not overly focusing on your past history with Equifax, Spirit and TransUnion, that's why we created what is called a non-QM situation where we can pretty much make decisions based on what we feel as it relates to your ECRIT credit report. We can make a comprehensive decision and say, and look at the character of that person 
because when you pay your light bill, you pay your water bill, you pay your rental payments, your auto insurance, these bills validate your credit worthiness. And, and we are very, 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 very much up on that. That's very important to ECRIT Lending Corp as it relates to ECRIT, uh, the credit bureau. So we're here, you know, by the grace of God, and we're not going anywhere. And uh, we don't care. I've heard people tell me in my face, uh, Dr. Smith, I've heard them say, Mr. Gary, you'll never get anywhere. That thing, ain't, that won't make it equal to never. Equal will never be nothing. It, you're talking about Equifax as being a transunion. Oh, that thing. I've heard all kinds of negativity. But, you know, my whole life has been based on overcoming negativity. And uh, hurdles should only inspire you to jump a little bit higher. And there's nothing wrong with trying to make a difference to impact other people's lives in a positive way. There's nothing wrong with that. Man, it's a good feeling to get hundreds and hundreds of thousands of people into their own home that would have never gotten that opportunity. They deserve, before they leave this earth, to say, I have home ownership. And not only that, what makes BSC and ECRIT so parallel is the fact that we can disseminate information to that person. Because as a credit report holder, as a person with good credit with ECRIT, having a home, it, 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 it eases your mind to think beyond. Now I can focus on being a vendor at Black Shopping Channel versus how I'm going to pay my light bill or getting refinanced or I'm overextended. And, and, uh, and I'm, I'm just excited about that. It's very important. This is a very important vision. And I'm so grateful. And Dr. Smith, we talked a little bit about that too, you know, with ECRIT creating an opportunity for the least of these to get in their home. How, you know, because how do you think a person feels, you know, when they're in, in a homeowner uh, chip position? Yeah, I mean, that, that changes everything. You know, having something that's your own, again, you're, you're transforming communities because, you know, a lot of times when people are renting, you don't have the same love and respect for your community because it's not yours. But when you're a homeowner, you your own blood and sweat is in that home. It's yours. It has your name on it. Your name is on that, you know, document from the bank. And you treat that thing with value and respect. You know, you're you're going to cut your grass. You're going to, you know, paint your house. You're not going to leave dirt in the yard. And so it it improves the community for everybody. When you have uh, absolutely, your absolutely. Now I'm not saying I won't leave dirt in the yard now, but uh. <laughs> you know, well, I, I wanted to say one other thing um, um, earlier when Julie was talking about, you know, her situation, her story that she was sharing her story. And I think it just really also highlights the power of community and having somebody give you a hand up, you know, not a handout. And I think that's another thing that, you know, the Black Shopping Channel is about. You know, she, she says she didn't have, you know, the income to go in and put her products out there. But the Black Shopping Channel is is this you know platform that allowed her to do something she wouldn't normally be able to do. So I think this is also really going to allow people who, you know, the brilliant people who have these ideas or already have products, but they just don't have an outlet or the resources. Now this provides them with the opportunity to go ahead and make a difference that they've been wanting to do. Awesome. We got we'll go to a break right here. It's seven fifty three. We're going to come back and say our goodbyes, but keep those dials locked. You're watching and listening to Beyond Sports. This is the Cleveland Gary Show on 104.5 WFLM, The Flame. Sure, people have told you to make sure you have something to fall back on. Make sure you got something to fall back on, honey. But I never understood that concept, having something to fall back on. If I'm going to fall... Yeah. I don't want to fall back on anything. I want to fall forward. I figure at least this way, I'll see what I'm going to hit. You've decided that you're not going to allow your circumstances to define you. You've decided that you're not going to allow the events, the things, the people, life, determine who you become. <laughs> 
Black Wall Street in Tulsa, Oklahoma was a true event that took place. A group of African Americans got together and created an economic system that created wealth amongst each other by circulating their dollars within their own community. They were so financially successful until they were bombed, beaten, many killed, resulting in destroying what was once known as Black Wall Street. The Black Shopping Channel is back on the street again to stay. Support the Black Shopping Channel vendors in this new fintech company that is connected Connecting vendors to shoppers, resulting in circulating wealth back into the urban community. And hip hop, rap, and RB music artists are reaching the world with their music at blackshoppingchannel.com. Have you had a problem getting approved for a mortgage, car, or personal loan? You want a home, you want a car, but your Equifax, Experian, TransUnion credit reports are not satisfactory to lenders, so you're denied credit approval. If you or anyone you know have been denied credit approval in these areas, the answer is eCred, the new credit bureau that can validate your credit worthiness to get you approved through eCred's lending division, even if you've had a bankruptcy, foreclosure, or collections. For more information, go to www.ecrid.com. Create your own ecrid credit report by adding your light bill, water bill, mobile phone, auto insurance, and even rental payments. All validate your credit worthiness at ecrid. Go to www.ecrid.com and sign up today. It's free. Get the keys to your new home or your new car. The Black Shopping Channel is America's first 24-hour minority TV shopping channel that aired on Dish Network in 14 million homes. Visit our website at www.blackshoppingchannel.com. If you're a small business owner and would like to sell your products on the Black Shopping Channel, go to www.blackshoppingchannel.com and sign up as a member. It's free. Upload your products schedule live stream events music artists sell your music and control your career it's time to get in the game and start supporting our small business owners and music artists go to black shopping channel and shop today black wall street is back at www.blackshoppingchannel.com the black shopping channel giving back moving forward 104.5. This is a paid advertisement. It does not represent the views of WFLM ownership, management, or staff. This is the Cleveland Gary Show on 104.5 WFLM, The Flame. Hi, right, welcome back. I'm Cleveland Gary, Beyond Sports. We have a few minutes, 8 o'clock here. We got to depart. We went over. It was so good. But we're getting very busy. And there, from time to time, this is a, a, a su surprise on the show. There, there are times I probably won't be on the show, but you will have Julie and Dr. Smith. They'll be hosting it. So uh, you will be in good hands. Right, ladies? I yes, can't hear absolutely. your audio. Uh, absolutely. Uh, all right. <laughs> Bill, Bill, you know. Doc, I know don't you thing. love being voluntold? <laughs> <laughs> I like that word. You see, that's why I say they need to expand Webster's dictionary, voluntold. That's a word, right? Yeah, that's a word. That's right. And, and it has meaning. Right? Yes, yeah. Yeah, but yeah, it, it, Whatever it, it's going to be great. <laughs> yeah, we got about, uh, oh, we got about one minute. I just want to thank you, Dr. Smith, for coming back on the show and they'll see you many times because these audience love you and miss rogers we've gotten great feedback so yeah you are being voluntold <laughs> right now <laughs> and you will be hosting beyond sports sometimes and uh you know and bill will be with you and uh, this time you know i probably won't be with you but the good thing about it it's all about a team effort and it's all about teamwork and i'm very fortunate very 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 blessed because this is such a monumental, you know, uh, uh, a task where we've taken on for many years and it's, it's about to come into full fruition. And we're very happy about that, very excited about it. And I just want to thank all of you because it's going to take a team, you know, to, to build these bridges over troubled waters. But we're going to have a great time doing it. So once again, before we get out of here, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> 
Thank you, Mr. Houston. Thank you. Thank you. We really enjoyed right. the show tonight. Thank you. Until next time, take care of yourself. We'll see you next week. Beyond Sports. This is the Cleveland Gary Show on 104.5 WFLM, The Flame. 104.5.